Welcome back. Namibian Marshall Rangers is a non-profit organization assisting anti-poaching units and projects as well as the Namibian police. Furthermore, the organization not only fills in some of the law enforcement gaps that exist, but provides protection services to the general public and provides assistance towards conservation efforts as well. To share with us how the year 2023 was in terms of the organization is a Sheriff Marshal from the Namibian Marshal Rangers, Sean Nodir. Sean, good evening and uh, welcome to the show. Thank you for joining us. Hi, good evening and thank you very much for having me. Sean, can you share some specific experiences or success stories from your collaboration with the Namibian police during the year of 2023? Well, it's been actually quite a challenging year for everybody. Uh, we have been on the ground working together with the Namibian police and city police also of uh, Vintuk. And it's been uh, quite an adventure in, from our side because we've learned a lot, but we have also built stronger relations. We have managed to uh, get hold of some perpetrators who are scamming people. We managed to get hold of two members that were scamming uh, using phone uh, the phone calls to scam our people out of money and with us uh, uh, working together with the Namibian police they managed to get these two people who had been scamming a lot of people and uh, it's still a very very big problem and we even had a case a few days ago where a lady phoned me she drove all the way to Caribe to go fetch something that she had paid for from Vintuk and at the end of the day she um, lost all her money. Mm -hmm. Talk to us about the ways the organization addresses law enforcement gaps to provide protection services to the general public. All right, so what we do is we've launched a emergency helpline, a toll-free number, which has a 24-hour call center. And then we have built over the last eight years relations with officials all over the country. And what happens is people phone us, our call center, and then they tell us they are sitting in a situation or this is the problem or they have uh, seen something, a crime being committed. And that way, through our call center, which works pretty much like the American 911. So you can call us and we will convey it to the relevant services and the relevant officials. And that way we can get fast assistance to the people in a emergency situation. We also have members nationwide that are ready to respond within minutes from anywhere to be able to either detain or assess a situation or help at a situation until the Namibian police can deploy members to the uh, scene. Yeah. So we offer manpower, we offer vehicles, we offer uh, assistance to the Namibian police. We come to serve them. Mm. That is our main objective, our, our lo uh, motto is serve and protect. Serve the officials and protect our nation. Speaking on the topic of uh, offering manpower, does the organization have enough manpower? Talk to us about some of the challenges or obstacles um, you know, the organization faces in its endeavors. You know, we have a lot of members nationwide. We're about a team of 120 members nationwide at the moment, all volunteers, all doing their, uh, have their own businesses, investing their own funds, investing their own time, their vehicles, their resources. So we have at least in every major town in Namibia, we have at least five established members. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Sean, are there any new initiatives or projects planned for 2024? Yes, we are big on the emergency services, and this year I went and did my uh, lifeguarding certificate international level. I've now, uh, we've invested in boats and jet skis and ambulances, so we are helping the state and municipal districts because we have seen a great need in the emergency sector and the health sector. 
and hopefully by next year we'll be able to fund some mobile clinics which we can send around the country because there is a lack of medical facilities. So we're going to focus on that and also educate the people on law enforcement, what is their rights as citizens and how they can play a part by doing joining things like Neighborhood Watch or community policing organizations, which the Namibian police already have established. And then this way we as a nation can work together. That's fantastic. You also, of course, based in the coastal part of Namibia. Perhaps you can kindly just share a few safety tips for those thinking of making their way to the coast um, this holiday. Well, I'm in Kentis Bay right now as we speak. We've just uh, called off our part of a five-day search for the two young ladies that uh, sadly drowned here in Hentys Bay. One body has been recovered at a place called Grace Dane, about six kilometers from Hentys Bay in a northerly direction. We've just come back. We've driven the whole coastline all the way to Cape Cross, and we were on out last night searching, and sadly we couldn't find the second person. We have also see uh, ocean rescue we have ambulances and we just want to tell the people please the ocean is not a swimming pool it has strong currents it has undercurrents and if it looks calm on the top it is probably wild at the bottom so do not go and swim unattended with adults if you don't have supervision don't and please we have a lot of people that drown because they are under the influence of alcohol stay away from it if you're going to drink don't go and swim you mentioned earlier of course that you've established this emergency line that works similar to 911 can you give us the number for that emergency line Sean? it's a very very easy and very similar number it is 919 919. So, that is right. So you can call 919. It's a toll free number. Our control room will. We handle anything snake catchers, fires. We've been fighting fires this year all over the country. We, we allocate, we delegate, and we deploy members and we make sure that people, everything gets attention. We make sure that everything gets. The thing about Namibian Marshall Rangers is we take action. We will not rest until we have made sure that a situation gets given the attention that it needs. And we are collaborating and working with huge emergency services, private emergency services, the Namibian police, the Navy, the Defense Force. We have spent eight years building good relations so that we are able, without these people working together, we are not able to provide the service we do. And that's why it's important as a nation that we stand together. So 919 is a toll-free number that has been sponsored to us so that we are able to have a control room that you can call 24 hours a day and report almost anything. Appreciate your time. Thank you for speaking to us. It's a pleasure, and everybody enjoy yourselves. Remember, be considerate. If you're driving on the roads, you're not alone on the roads. Let's act responsibly and keep within the parameters of the law because the Namibian police this year are out in full force. I've joined them in their meetings. They are going to have zero tolerance. Thank you so much. Bye. That was Sean Nodier from the Namibian Marshall Rangers speaking to us on the line. As he mentioned, they have a toll-free emergency number that you can call to report absolutely anything. The number is 919. We'll be right back after this.